This is my newest desk setup. And if you've ever seen my channel in the past, you'll probably know that I'm someone who loves to keep my desk set up, not only looking fresh and super clean, but more importantly, I need it to be really functional. And so whilst I was super happy with the previous iteration of my editing desk setup, it was getting a little old. So after spending the past few months slowly upgrading a bunch of the various components that make up the desk setup, this is what I've landed on. So with that being said, let's dive in and discuss it. Now, no desk setup can be complete without a desk itself. And so I've actually just started using this Merbau timber panel that I picked up from a local hardware store here in Australia. For anyone wondering, it's 1800 mil by 600 mil, which is just about the same size as my previous desk setup. But then for the legs, I'm actually using the frame from the autonomous sit stand desk I featured in my previous desk setup video. The tabletop from that video wasn't quite the right size for my editing station, but the frame fit beautifully with the Merbau panel. And honestly, I kind of love the black and wood color combo we get as a result. And so from there we have the chair and I've tested a lot of chairs over the years, some really cheap and some pretty expensive, but this one has been by far my favorite. It's called the Aleph Jewel and you can pick it up from Ikea. And I had this chair pinned on my Pinterest feed for like five plus years. And when I finally took the plunge and purchased it, it did not disappoint. The brown leather looks phenomenal in my opinion. And more than that, it's actually pretty much the comfiest chair I've ever used as well. And so then we have everything on top of the desk, starting with that desk pad. This is one I've been using for the past month and a half or so, and it's a super minimal and elegant felt desk pad by Delta Hub and a huge shout out to them for being kind enough to sponsor this video. But aside from its minimalistic design, which I think really does elevate the overall look of the setup, it also helps in creating a really comfortable working environment. They come in three different sizes, and the one I'm using is the medium version. And I've got to say, I, I kind of love this sizing because it's wide enough to act as both my desk mat and my mouse pad, but it's also not obnoxiously huge. On top of the desk pad, I'm still using the Logitech Craft keyboard, which I've actually been using for about a year and a half now. And just like the past two desk setup videos, I'm also still using the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. I've tried other mouse and keyboard combos over the past year or so, but none have really stacked up to the quality of the Craft Keyboard or MX Master 3 mouse, hence why I'm still using both of them in this setup. Now I admit, I've always been pretty bad at considering my ergonomics, and so when I recently read that more than two hours of computer usage per day can significantly increase the risk of carpal tunnel syndrome, I knew I had to look into some sort of a solution. And so alongside the MX Master 3, I just recently started using the Delta Hub Carpio 2.0 wrist rest, which was actually designed in conjunction with medical experts to prevent wrist injuries. It's got Teflon feet on the bottom, and this means unlike a traditional wrist rest, the Carpio 2.0 actually glides along with your hand as you move your mouse around your table. And they do make a left version for the keyboard as well. These guys come in two sizes, small and large, both of which are super portable, and they also make them in three different colorways, white, gray, and black. But I found that the black one matched really well with my Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, so that's the one that I've been using. Definitely check out Delta Hub using the links down in the description below. Oh, and for a chance to win some of their products, stay tuned for a giveaway at the end of the video. Now, as for the other peripherals on this desk setup, as you can see, I still have not upgraded from my trusty Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers, which I've been using for well over five years at this point. And honestly, I still have no desire to upgrade from them. They look great on a desk, they're small and compact, and more importantly, they still sound incredible. Highly recommend. I'm also still using the old version of the Pixel Stand for wireless charging of any devices throughout the day. And then I've really loved having this Elgato Stream Deck Mini integrated into my setup because it gives me quick access to a bunch of helpful tools like activating a screen recording, viewing my YouTube subscriber count, muting the system audio, plus a few extras that I've personally set up for my workflow. And there's also hundreds of additional options within the Stream Deck application as well. Beyond that, I've just started using this nine-in-one desktop hub from Bon Elk, which gives me quick access to a bunch of additional ports like some extra USB-C slots, one of which does quick charging at 100 watts, which is amazing. There's also a micro SD and SD card slot, the latter of which I use all the time. And for its size, it's actually quite 
hefty, which means it feels pretty dang premium. The last accessory on the desk itself is this LED wood desk lamp by Lonrisway. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but this is a really clean and elegant desk lamp that is both dimmable and by color. And more than that, it has a really clean design, which I think adds a nice touch to the entire look of the setup. And so from there, we have the monitor. This is the MSI Prestige PS341WU, and I actually showcased this monitor in a past desk setup video, which I then had to return, but I loved it so much that I reached out to MSI to see if they'd consider letting me have it again for this video. It's 34 inches in size with a 21 by nine ultra wide aspect ratio, and it has a very crispy 5K resolution to go with, and all of that is fantastic, but also just love how clean this monitor looks on my desk setup. For one, it's completely flat, which is actually a pretty hard form factor to find when it comes to ultra wide 5K monitors. Most of them are curved for some reason, which is definitely not my preference, but then it also has these fairly slim and consistently sized bezels around each side as well, which makes for a very minimal look. In terms of performance, I'm not gonna get into the specs as this video really isn't a review of the monitor, but what I will say is that it's incredibly bright and to my eyes, it has fantastic color reproduction. It's truly a joy to use and like I said, I seriously love the look of it. Now for this desk setup, I finally listened to all of you who commented on my past videos telling me to make the switch to a monitor arm and I ended up getting this pretty affordable option from a brand called Vivo. Cost about $50, but after using it for a couple of months, I can see why everyone recommended making the switch. Not only do you get a little more flexibility in terms of monitor placement, but it just cleans up the desk even further because you only have this one arm present rather than a chunky monitor stand. So finally, we have the heart and soul of this new desk setup, the MSI Creator P100X desktop. I actually used the Prestige P100 desktop machine a few desk setup videos ago, but this is their upgraded version with all of the latest specs like an 11th gen Intel Core i9 processor, an MSI GeForce RTX 3080 graphics card, as well as 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. And despite all of these beefy specs, as you can see, it's all wrapped up in a super sleek and compact form factor. And if I'm being completely honest, it's just downright sexy. The machine doesn't compromise on ports though, with plenty of options on the back and on the side, including two Thunderbolt 4 ports. And what's great is that it's also user upgradable. But in regards to performance, which is the most important aspect of all, let's just say this PC is a beast. I've been using it to edit all of the videos posted to my channel over the past month or so, and it has handled everything beautifully. For example, I used to have to wait a good minute or so for Adobe Premiere Pro to fully analyze a clip with the warp stabilizer effect applied. And I'd actually gotten into the habit of using this time to complete other tasks, but now it happens in a fraction of that time. Exporting videos is also a lot faster than what I'm used to. And so to put it simply, this thing has really leveled up the speed of my production workflow. The only slight downside of this PC is the fan noise, which I think is related to the smaller form factor. Whenever I'm doing super processor intensive tasks like rendering a video, those fans will really crank right on up. To be honest, it actually isn't that big of a deal. The only slight change to my workflow as a result of these loud fans is that I can't really set up the PC to render or export a video while I'm also filming A-roll in the studio at the same time. Otherwise, it'd probably wreck my audio. Aside from that though, I've loved using this PC in my workflow over the past month or so. And if you're in the market for something powerful yet compact, there's really not many better options than this one. But that is it for my updated editing station desk setup. Links to everything mentioned throughout have been included down in the description below. And a big thank you to Delta Hub for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out their site using the first link in the description. And as mentioned, because they're sponsoring this video, we're actually doing a giveaway of their Carpio 2.0 wrist rest. So to enter, all you need to do is comment below. And once this video reaches 4,000 likes, three lucky winners will be chosen. And if you're one of the lucky winners, you'll receive three bundles of left and right-handed Carpio wrist rests in your color and size of choice. How cool is that? Aside from that, if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. But that is it. Thank you all very much for watching. And as always, I will catch you later.